Something I haven't set up before, but I thought was really clever. And NetGate had a blog post about it, so I figured I'd talk about it. NetGate being the PFSense people, in case you didn't know, but DNS over TLS with PFSense. And uh, this is pretty cool. It shows you really in uh, basic and Cloudflare being excited right now because they're 1111, and I still use the uh, Quad 9, 4 9s uh, service, but it doesn't really matter as long as that service supports this feature. So let's talk a little bit of what DNS over TLS is. So here is the DNS Privacy Project. Uh, I can leave a link to this here, but they talk about it in general, and I, I've mentioned this many times, and I'm gonna say it again. The internet was not by design made as privacy first. The internet was designed to pass traffic along and discover things, but not necessarily to hide all of your information. DNS being the domain name service, lookup service, means whenever you need to go to a website, a lookup is required. And having a fast lookup means faster speed, that is true, but it also, from a privacy standpoint, if they wanna know what website you're going to, DNS is the method by which you're gonna find that out. So DNS is the uh, kind of the best spying method used as things go towards security. It is the best way these companies can grab your data. Now, some of them are claiming cloud, uh, like Cloudflare, and they call it privacy first, but as anyone knows, if they can see the queries, they could potentially do something with that knowledge. But what you may not want is people in between seeing all the things in the queries, and we're gonna add something else to this, you may not want any of those queries being tampered with. When you encapsulate DNS over uh, TLS, or transport layer security, you now lock it in and they can't see inside of it. So Comcast being my ISP, using uh, DNS t over TLS, they are only able to see that there's an encrypted piece of traffic going across the network, but not the contents of that traffic. So that being said, maybe it's something you want to enable. All it really does though, by the way, for those of you wondering, it just pushes the level of trust, for example, to Quad9 not to collect my data or for using Cloudflare for Cloudflare not to collect your data or whoever your DNS provider is. So that being said, I'll leave a link to here. So if you want to read about DNS privacy, uh, here is the link for the DNS over TLS. Now let's talk about how it works. So pretty straightforward. This is the same from them. The only thing that's different from my configuration versus the one that they showed at uh, on the NetGate thing is for ours, we have the server, we have an extra include here. And what you do in case you're wondering, do I put server twice? No. So you have this if you're running a PF, a PF blocker, which I am. And then when you look at the way they have it set up here, let me scroll down here and zoom in. So they have it as server colon upstream thing. I already had the word server in there because I have this include file. If you're not sure or not familiar with how Linux works uh, or FreeBSD as well. When you have files uh, for configuration, you can include other files for that configuration. So you're kind of just merging those files together and say, hey, pull in the config file this. Then after that, these are the extra options that you need to put in to get it to work. So you're adding features that these checkboxes don't. So when you do all these checkboxes to set up your network, all it's really doing is writing the config file and adding those things. Something I love about the way PFSense is designed, pretty much every function inside of PFSense also has a custom options at the bottom. So you can, if you know extra parameters that they didn't create something for the web interface for, you can simply add them here. This is way better than having to go to edit the file because that doesn't work right. Because if you edit the file and then you change a setting in here, it'll overwrite it. So these custom options that you find at the bottom of most all the services are to add extra parameters that they maybe have not yet created a button for or may not create a button for due to you know not as many people wanting them. So that being said, you just add these couple extra lines, SSL upstream to yes, uh, do TCP yes, forward zone, you leave that blank, name, just the dot right here, and you can just copy and paste this from uh, their website. It's pretty straightforward. The only thing I also changed here, their forwarding address is 1.1, which is the Cloudflare, and the backup address is 110. I'm just using Quad9 singular uh, there, but if you wanted to use more, you can. And if you're wondering what other places support, I believe we go here, they have a list of all the places that support and what port they have DNS on for the DNS over TLS. So there's not just Quad9 that does it. Uh, Quad9, as they call it, they're secure versus insecure. They have it um, 
99.10 is her other backup server if you wanted to put two of them in. Because they're using the uh, Anycast slash point of presence uh, system, I, I haven't had any problems and it hasn't gone down for me. But if you're worried about that, you can put more than one DNS in. So all you do is you put that and forward address is 9.9.9 .9 .9 at 853 because that's the port that they use for the secure DLS. You just hit save and I already hit save so that uh, it doesn't do anything. But then you're like, does it work? Well, sure, easy enough to tell. I went over here, you go over to your states, all filter, and you can see that the connections are TCP now instead of UDP, which is normal for DNS. Uh, so there, I'm sorry, I got to blur out my public IP address, uh, but you can see it's going to 9.9.853. So that is the security and export. So you can see that's where the packets are going. Now, one more thing I have checked here, just so you know, if you're not familiar with DNSSEC, uh, DNSSEC is a verification method some websites and uh, DNS servers support in order to uh, secure the DNS and make sure that the packets weren't tampered with. And this goes beyond just knowing that Quad9 didn't mess with them. It's making sure that maybe somewhere upstream that the information they have wasn't tampered with versus the website. Now, not every website supports this. Uh, it's an extra layer of uh, tampering to make sure the DNS is correct. So even though it came over securely, if they got bad information at whoever your DNS provider is, that bad information then gets passed on to you. Uh, so this is something that, you know, it's an extra layer of security to make sure no one mess with it. And it's uh, it's easily supported here in PFSense by enabling the DNS sec. And if you're curious, if your DNS provider supports it, I'll leave a link to this site. They have a DNS sec resolver test and I love the little guy's face. And let me show you what he does here. We hit start and takes a second to run. All right, thumbs up. I get DNS sec uh, enabled. It does work. Now you're like, well, does it just say it works? Well, let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and uh, disable the support. We're going to hit save apply. We're going to reset it and we're going to turn off DNSSEC support. All right, the change has been successfully applied and we'll start the test again. Oh, I guess it's cached. One second. All right, so uh, it turns out you also have to take out the uh, other DNS sec things I added at the bottom in order for it actually enables DNS sec once you do DNS over TLS. I didn't realize that. So yeah, once you go to this resolver test, now we can see that I'm not. And all I did was take out the uh, extra settings that we had included in here and that fixed it. So I'm going to put them back in. Hit save. Actually, we'll go ahead and enable that and hit save. Apply changes, reload the page, and now we get a thumbs up again because of the DNS resolver. It had a cache page, so I had to like open up an incognito window to get that work. But anyways, that's the simple of adding um, DNS over TLS, so you can encapsulate it in TCP, which of course also enables DNSSEC apparently, so that's pretty great too, to make sure it, your packets were not tampered with somewhere along the way. All right, thanks for watching. If you like to content here, like and subscribe. If you got questions, comments, leave them below. Uh, if you need any information, you can check out our website, lawrencesystems.com. And uh, thank you for watching.